Hi, welcome to another video. So, it's always good to have some free models and APIs, especially if they come with very low or almost no rate limits. I saw something similar today and thought to talk about this. This one is called Open Inference. Open Inference is apparently made in collaboration with Open Router, and they have made some models available on Open Router that you can use for free. In return, the responses will be used to make public data sets that will be open sourced, allowing model trainers and providers to train models with those data sets. So yes, this comes at the cost that the responses will be made publicly available, but they will be anonymized. So it shouldn't be a big issue if you just want a model to maybe make simple components, do some coding, or maybe for just general chat about questions and stuff. It will surely come in handy. That's why I thought to tell you guys that you can set this up in different coders and tools and use it in different styles. It has very low rate limits and is fully usable without ever really hitting any kind of rate limits. So, this is pretty great. So, let's get into it and let me show you how it all works. But before proceeding, let me tell you about Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform where, for just $11 per month, you get access to top AI models like GPT-4.0, Claude 4 Sonnet, and Gemini 2.5 Pro, all in one place. I've been using Gemini for quick research, but what's really cool is their AI playground where you can compare responses from different models side by side. Their mind map generator is a game changer for organizing complex ideas as well. The basic plan gives you 1,000 messages, 30 images, and 5 videos monthly, with higher tiers available if you need more. Use my code KING25 for 25% off any plan or KING40 yearly for 40% off annual subscriptions. Check the link in description to try it yourself. Now, back to the video. To start, you'll have to head on over to Open Router. Here, you'll need to go into the settings and then into the training option. You'll see some options here. You need to enable the free endpoints that may publish prompts option. Once you have enabled this, just search for the Open Inference Provider and you'll see it there. This will open up the page where you can see the models that are being provided. You get DeepSeq V 3.1, GPT OSS 120 billion, Quen 3 Coder 480 billion, and Kimi K2 new version as well. So, these are quite good. DeepSeq here is not the Terminus model, which is kind of bad, but I hope it is updated. However, you still get Quen 3 Coder and Kimi as well. I think Quen 3 Coder or Kimi might be the best bet for coding. However, DeepSeq is also not bad. It's pretty good, even in the previous version. So yeah, it's kind of cool for sure. Now, you can use it quite easily in things like Kilo Code, Roo Code, and stuff like that. So, just head on over, and you can easily install Kilo Code, which is what I'll recommend. Then head on over to Settings, select the Open Router option, and enter your API key that you get from Open Router. After that, you can select the DeepSeq Chat Free option, and it will automatically first prioritize the provider who doesn't log, even in the free tier. Like, Shoots has a free tier for some models, but they are pretty rate limited. So, it will use that until its rate limit is exhausted, and then continue using it. That's great. Anyway, you can just set the model here, and then you can use it accordingly. I would recommend the Quen 3 Coder model, as it's pretty good and pretty fast as well. You can go ahead and use it, and there's not much of a rate limit either, which is pretty great for sure. Now, this is one of those things which you wouldn't generally want to use in something like your pre-existing code base, because it will be used for training. So, it's not really recommended. However, you can use it for things that don't matter as much. So, I'll recommend that you can use it with things like Quest. Quest is like an open source alternative to Bolt. I have a video on it, but what it basically does 
is allow you to make one-shot apps quite easily. And in one-shot apps that are made from scratch, it isn't something that at least I'm that paranoid about. So, what you can do is just get it installed, go to Settings, and in the Provider section, set up the Open Router option with your API key. Then, you can select the free model as well, and you can go ahead and use it. I think you can squeeze a lot out of these free options by using them for trivial tasks that are not as important and not something you're paranoid about. You can also use it with things like Bolt DIY or Dyad as well. Dyad is a bit more fleshed out than Quest, but it's a little more memory hungry. So, it can come in handy there too. You can also set it up in some kind of chat interface as well. For example, I've been using one called January. So, we can just go there, configure Open Router, and then use it for simple chat as well. It comes in quite handy, like for doing some simple web searches or stuff like that. And you're also directly contributing to public data sets that will help out open model creators who don't have the resources to buy huge data sets like Anthropic, who had to pay a $1.5 billion settlement. So yeah, this will come in handy for those model creators. That's majorly about it. You can go ahead and use it all you want to build stuff, do simple chat, and just use it in places where the responses don't matter as much if they become public. I mean, it's always great to have these free options in your arsenal, to use them in places where you don't really want to pay, or for just checking a model's performance. It also comes in handy for me when I do benchmarking, because the evil sets are public anyway. So yeah, it has a ton of use cases, and I just wanted to show it off and how you can use these as well. It's on open router, so it shouldn't be an issue to use it as most of them support it. Go ahead and use it. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.